Hello, folks, and welcome back to Siberia 2. Yes, in this video, we're gonna escape the stinking monastery. First, we need to go get a key. Yes, and they won't even stop us from taking it. We're going back to the temple. Right through this door. Yes. After we exit the monastery, we won't see much of, of Oscar anymore. I think we got one more encounter with Oscar, and that's a phone call, and that'll be the end of Oscar for the rest of the game. Pretty much. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna walk right through here. Take this key. Or the key. Oh, look at all those pictures around here. Now we'll go back here. Open this gate here. Warn the key we found or took. And we're gonna ring this bell, gets rid of the monk in the cemetery. That's what they do. That cleared our way to exit. Oh, we're gonna go through here now. I'm gonna go back where the Hans is. Or Hans, I guess. Depends on how you pronounce it. have to do something first. Oops. Ah, that was, uh... Here, yeah, I just made an uh oh moment, I guess. We have to go get the coffin ready. Use the coffin to escape. I told you that one time in the previous video. she can escape without him or not. I actually never tried that. Eh, probably not, because most of the time this game won't let you get ahead of yourself. Adventure company games won't let you get ahead of yourself. They won't let you do things before it's time. And 
now we'll go back in here and talk to hands. What, Kate Walker? Let's go. Yes, Kate Walker. We must be quick. Yes, let's go. The monastery doesn't want us to leave. But we're going to anyway. No! Do not go! No! You must stay! Some ride, huh, Hans? Yes, it was real fun, Kate Walker. Really. Yeah, Hans enjoyed that ride. Hans? Mm hmm. Yep. Are you okay, Hans? Mm hmm. It's going to be fine, Kate. I'm just a little weary. I hope this old patriarch is finally understood. The Patriarch has a very closed mind. To put it mildly, the guy's a fanatic. Hans, do you think we can carry on with our journey? There's just a spot of work I haven't finished. You'll have to help me, Kate. Of course. What can I do for you? Tell me. I have repaired the clockwork heart for the horses, but I'm too tired, too weak. Can you go to the cabaret? And fit it instead of me, Kate? It's all right. I'll go. Don't worry. Get some rest. Mechanical heart. Hans? Hmm? A clockwork heart? What on earth is that, Hans? It's a tiny mechanism that makes the cabaret horses come to life. Hmm. But it must be real difficult to install. Oh, no. It's really very easy, Kate Walker. You will manage, I'm sure. Do you want me to take the heart to Sirkos? Sirkos is an old friend, but he is not a good mechanic. You will have to give him a hand installing it. Okay, I'm off. You have a rest. Hans, is there anything else to do before leaving? As soon as the mechanical horses are working again, we'll be able to leave. See you later. Hurry back. Yes, it's kind of strange how Hans Wahlberg looks something like Christopher Lloyd. Back to the future. Christopher Lloyd. Yep. I will go over right here. Right! 
Now jump! Jump! Dang! Get out of my sight before I stuff you in the oven, you dumb goop! Yeah. You should have read the manual that we picked up. <laughs> Knows that yuckies aren't trainable, nothing unless there's a dog around. Hi, Mr. Sirkos. Ah, how do, Miss Walker? Mr. Sirkos, I wanted to give you news of Hans before we leave. So, did the old patriarch make him well again? Truth be known, I'm not too sure. But is he better, or is he better? Well, he's not firing rockets, but seems like he wants to keep on traveling. You'll wish him all the best from me now, won't you, Miss Walker? You can count on it. When I came in, it looked like you were really angry with that strange, uh, dog thing. Dog? If only it were. That's a Yuki, Miss Walker. You call Eskimos domesticated them. You call makes Yuki. Get it? A Yuki? Now, don't be fooled by appearances, ma'am. What might look like a dog? Ain't necessarily dog. It's a kind of cross seal and bear with a big dose of pig, too, especially the appetite. And you want to teach it a few circus tricks? Believe me, Miss Walker, I have tried. Yes, I have. But strive as he might, civilized man will never squeeze anything resembling brains from this bag of swill. The animal just don't want to be tamed. Only thing it thinks of is its belly. His gluttony has been documented pretty well, according to what we learned from the book. Mr. Sirkos, I wanted to thank you for your hospitality. Soon we'll be leaving Romansburg. It's a mighty shame, Miss Walker. You're going to miss my mechanical stallions riding up. Show start as soon as I get those wind-up nags to buck. <laughs> I'll catch it some other time. So, those horses don't work? I asked Mr. Vorlberg to have a look at them, but then he had that horrible fit like you saw. Fever, delirium, stopped him finishing the job. Maybe you know a thing or two about tinkering, Miss Walker? Well, I'm not Hans Vorlberg, but I can always try. Mr. Sirkos, Hans asked me to come to help you repair your fairground horses. Oh, that's great news! I'm mighty grateful, Miss Walker. Your wind-up horses have got a problem. There's an important part missing. But I'm going to try to install it, if you don't mind, Mr. Sirkos. Ah! You are! You are going to save my life, Miss Walker! Yeah, and your business, too. So you owe it big time, pal. I think I can fix your horses, Mr. Sirkos. Please, be my guest, Miss Walker. Grateful wouldn't be the word. I've got to go, Mr. Sirkos. Godspeed, Miss Walker. Now, folks, yep, I'm gonna end gameplay right here. In the next video, we're gonna fix these horses. Yes, it could be a chore to fix them horses. This is Gamer Lawn signing out, saying thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye, folks. Take care.